trigonometry, you'll frequently be asked to solve a triangle, which means given a triangle with some sides and angles defined, you'll need to figure out the missing values. So if we're looking at this triangle here, we need to figure out angle A, side A, and angle B. Um, how you do that depends on what type of values you're given. So this video, I want to give you a quick rule that helps you figure out the formula that you need. Um, the names of the triangle problems, like SSA, SAA, ASA, all refers to like what values you're given. So for example, SSA means you're given a side, a side, and an angle. Um, SAA means you're given a side, an angle, an angle. So S and A's are just sides and angles. The rule of thumb to figure out if you need law of sines or law of cosines is to see if you have an angle and side match. What do I mean by that? Basically, if you look at the first example, we have angle C and we have side C, the side across from an angle. So if we have both of these things, this is law of sines. Now we can use that rule of thumb and just kind of work our way down. For a side angle angle problem, we have this one, we have angle B and side B. So again, this is law of sines. And you can just kind of circle that pair. Angle side angle, it doesn't look like we have it, but actually you can figure out this angle by doing 180 minus 34 minus 74. Let's plug that in real fast. 180 minus 74 minus 34 equals 72. Okay, so angle C is 72 degrees. And then we have a matching pair here. So this is again law of sines. And I've, I've separated these so all the ones on this side of the line are going to be law of sines. Spoiler alert. On the left here, no matter what we do, we're always going to be missing a pair. Like, for example, the side 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 problem, there is no combination. There's no combination that has both values. So, in that case, we're going to need the law of cosines. Same thing goes for a side angle side problem. We have this angle, but we're missing this. We also have these two sides, but across from them, there's nothing. So there's no match. And again, you're going to need law of cosines.